Marlon Vera versus Corey Sanhagen is official for UFC Fight Night in the Apex. Um, UFC Fight Night, Vera versus Sanhagen. And this is a great fight in the Bantamweight division. Early prediction and breakdown. I had to make a video on this because there's no fucking content to make these days. Um, and I want to save the uh, the KO of the year, sub of the year, fight of the year at the end of the month. So for right now, this is the only uh, only... Only video I can really make. So I'm going to do it. And capitalize on it. I love this fight. Very good fight. I wanted to see Vera O'Malley. I really wanted to see that. I really wanted to see that. Um, but someone's going to get left out here. Uh, it's either O'Malley, Marab, or Yan. And I do believe it's probably going to be... I, I think Yan's... I don't know. It's not going to be Marab. It's either going to be O'Malley or Yan. But they made this fight. I like this fight. It was kind of... It, it, it probably was going to happen if Vera O'Malley wasn't going to happen. But you could have made Vera O'Malley. But I guess you could do O'Malley Marab. Ah, uh, don't ruin them, Marab. I like this fight, though. This is a great fight. Main event. Um, On February the 18th, that card needed a main event. So they made it as this. Um... I do believe in a prediction here. Corey Sanhagen is going to score Marlon Vera over five rounds. In a three-rounder, Sanhagen obliterates Vera. 30-27 across the board. Easy work. Maybe if Sanhagen's new style these days, 30-26. Sanhagen obliterates Vera. But in a five-rounder... I think Sanhagen's going to win, but it's going to be tough. You know, it's going to be competitive at moments. Vera's going to land his shots. Corey Sanhagen's going to be scoring Vera the most of the part. But Vera rocks him at the end and kind of steals around here and there. But I think Sanhagen's got this one in the bag. I really do believe so. If you look at this fight, they're both 30 years of age. Sanhagen has, um, they both have this. Vera actually has a longer reach than Sanhagen, which Sanhagen won't be used to, but... Five foot eleven to five foot eight to Sanhagen. Um in the favor of Sanhagen. I just think Sanhagen's gonna beat Vera. I really do believe so. I think he's a more durable Dominic Cruz. More power than Dominic Cruz. I mean they both have don't have much power, but he does have power he does have a bit more power than Cruz and more KO threat than Dominic Cruz. And Cruz was sculling Vera. Schooling him. And I get Vera was dropping him at moments and stealing rounds here and there, but Sanigan's tough. And I'll give credit to Vera if he wins this, but I think Vera gets this one. I think Vera will lose. I was about to say Vera gets this one done. He doesn't. I think Vera will lose. I think Sanigan schools him to a four. A close four. A close three two decision. I'll say. A close 3-2 decision. No, not 3. 1-4-1 one, one scorecard for Sanhagen. Two others have it 3-2. Sanhagen. Like, it will be close. Like, Vera will give a, a Sanhagen a lot of tough rounds in the 5th and 4th. Here and there. I just think Sanhagen's chin. Like, it's actually insane. Like, who is he being... Like, he took shots right on the chin from Yudong. And let's be real... Was arguably, before the cut, arguably winning 3-1 or 4-0. Probably 4-0. Because he cut, he cut your dog in the round. Where your dog landed the better shots, but he cut your dog. So that's an either way round. That kind of, that kind of, that ended the fight. But Zanigan was scolding your dog, taking shots on the chin. Dillashaw, he was taking shots of. Taking shots from TJ Dillashaw. Taking shots, and he, and he should have won against Dillashaw as well. Took shots from Piotr Jan. You know? Like, people give O'Malley... It, people give O'Malley uh, credit for taking the shot from Jan. And I do, too. But Sanhagen... Dude took down short notice. And he took shots and bombs from from Jan. You know what? Yeah, like... That's a close fight against Jan as well. Where he lost it. I get that. But still... I just think Marlon Vera is going to lose. Marlon Vera, like, I just... 
I think he flatlined Edgar Morais. And I don't see Vera grappling Sanig in here. I really don't believe so. Um, because I know Vera can grapple if he needs to. But against Cruz, he didn't grapple. Against Fart, he didn't grapple. Against Edgar, he didn't. He kind of did against Grant. Kind of pounding out Grant. But he didn't really have a grappling game there. O'Malley got on top and ground and pounded O'Malley. But it's not like he goes for any subs. You know? And I think Sanigan's improved on that as well. I just think Cruz is... I, not Cruz. I just think Sanigan's going to skull Vera here. First round will be a fucking clear, clear round for Sanhagen. Round two will be a closer one, but Sanigan's still skulling Vera. Round three will be a clear Sanhagen round once again. Tough, though. Round four is close, but Vera rocks him at the end, so Vera takes round four. Round five is a kind of clear Vera round, beating Sanigan. But Sanigan's still throwing, but I just think Sanigan's going to win this one. I, I just think Sanigan's so good. He looks very good against Yadong, like, very, very good. But, yeah, um, I know Vera lost to Aldo, but that's Aldo. But I, I, I just think Vera's going to lose. This is a great fight, though. This is a great fight, like... Who are people picking? 58% Vera. Like, I get it. He can win by KO. And he has shown... Like, he has been looking good. Like, he KO'd Cruz, Edgar. Um, but I don't know. I feel like Sanigan's going to win this one. And plus, Sanigan looked all right in the grappling against Yudong offensively. So And Vera's shit on the ground. Edgar was out grappling him. Sanigan just sent Edgar in the shadow realm like 28 seconds. So, if Sanigan needs to, if I can see anyone offensively grappling, I can see it being Sanigan, maybe. I don't think Vera has that grappling skill. Who is Vera subbed and out grappled? Last person. He be Andre Yo. No, Helen Hernandez. Yay. Great win. Guido Canetti, which is actually looking alright, but still. Recent Vera won't grapple. And I think Sanigan could actually maybe do it himself. I think Sanigan gets this one done. Yeah, I really do believe so. That card, though, February 18th, that card has Jim Miller getting Real Benitez as the co main event. All right. Jim Miller, Gabriel Benitez as the co main event. You got Tyler Santos, Aaron Blanchfield, which was recently which was recently announced. I actually do believe it's a stupid move from Blanchfield there and her team. I don't know if it's from Blanchfield, but. From her team. Number 10 versus number 2. Tough one there. I'll probably take Santos. I don't know. The Blanchfield actually could win that. But. Yeah. The card ain't looking great. Yeah. They need to fix that card up. Add a good Saul Coleman. Maybe Santos Blanchfield a good Coleman event. Maybe add like a. I don't know. Maybe add. I don't know. Who can we add? Maybe get uh, Khalil Roundtree Jr. a fight or something on. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why I'm talking about him. But, yeah, um, my card is looking decent. William Knight marching Pracnio. That's a great fight. But I just think Sanigan's going to skull Vera. Make him look like a fool. First three rounds. And mix in some grappling when he needs to in the later rounds. But lose it on damage. But I just think Vera's just... He's good, Vera. But he's nothing. I just don't think he... Like, he's just not technically good. Like, if Sanigan and Cruz fought each other right now, Sanigan would... It would be close, but Sanigan would win. I don't know. I just don't like Vera, man. He makes it too... It's just he's worrying sometimes. If he wins this against Sanigan, no Props. Credit. Uh, what's the word? Um, what's the word? Um, credit, credit. I guess that's the word. Um, credit. If he wins against Sanigan here, I'll be quite shocked if he beats Sanigan. Um, yeah, I think Vera loses. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Just wanted to give an early prediction on that because it's a great fight. I wish I be saw O'Malley, Vera O'Malley. I guess this means Marab versus Yan. I guess Marab Yan main event. 
Mally just Oh Mally should have took the verify. What an idiot. He should have actually said Marlon Bear, you me, let's go before the title. Get that one back and get that off your record, O'Malley. Now people are just going to look at his last fight and say he lost. If he got a big KO win over Vera, people wouldn't be talking about the Yan fight. He'd be talking about, oh, he beat Vera, got revenge by KO. O'Malley's such an idiot. Should have accepted the Vera fight, but no. Maybe Vera wanted to fight soon and O'Malley wasn't ready, but yeah, O'Malley's an idiot. He'll get the title shot, though, but still. I guess Marab Yan... I doubt O'Malley's going to fight Marab, and they're not going to do Yan O'Malley, too. I doubt that. And, yeah. And he won't get... They're not going to do O'Malley, Rob Font. It's just not going to happen. Font is coming off too many losses. And, yeah. Maybe if Stratling can't make it, Cejudo O'Malley for an interim belt or something, but I doubt it. Or just if Cejudo don't make it. I'd say... I'd say... This is what I'd do. I'd do... Sanigan Vera winner versus I don't even I don't know about them. Let's talk about the top top for now. I guess Sterling Cejudo when they fight O'Malley can be the backup. That could work. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is an early prediction and breakdown for Marlon Vera versus Corey Sanhagen. And yeah, I got Sanhagen for 48-47 decision win in a in a good fight where it's a clear winner and that's that's Corey Sanhagen. Peace.